Welcome to the 8th Atom CLI tutorial. Today we're going to look at some of the command line utilities for managing user accounts. For this tutorial, we're assuming that you've already watched videos 1 to 3, have your Vagrant environment set up. I've already changed to the main Atom directory, and in my browser, I've logged into the application. You can follow along today in our Atom Administrator's Manual. In the maintenance section, we'll be looking at the command line tools page and some of the first command line tools listed on that page. First, let's look at a simple tool that will allow you to find out what version of Atom you're running from the command line. You can always find this information by going to admin settings in the user interface. If you want to know from the command line, type php symphony tools colon get dash version. Adam will print out what version you currently have installed. Now we're going to move on to some of the managing user account tasks. In preparation for this, I've created a few users in my account. I have my initial demo account that I'm logged in as an administrator, and I've also created another contributors account. We'll be using this account to promote it to an administrator from the command line later on in the video tutorial. First, let's look at how we can add new admin accounts from the command line without having to log into the application's user interface. You can do this by entering php symphony tools colon add dash super user. You'll have to give the user a name. Once you do so, you'll be prompted to enter an email address as well as a password for the user. Now that I've created this user from the command line, if I refresh the application's interface, I should see this user. And there they are. I have a new administrative user that I've created without logging in. We can also run this command Without the prompts, if we already know the email address and password that we want to use, we can pass them as options in the command. First, enter the base command. Then, we'll pass the email and password. Add dash dash email equals, and in quotations, enter the email address you want to use. We can then do the same thing with the password. Add dash dash password equals, and then in quotations, enter your new password. Don't forget to add a username to the end. Now we've created a second administrative account. Finally, there's a third option in the application for developers who are using this in a development environment to easily create the default demo administrator's account. If we enter the same password but add dash dash demo at the end, Adam will create an account with email address demo at example.com, username and password as demo. Enter the base command php symphony tools colon add super user and add dash dash demo at the end. Now we have a second demo account that's been created as an administrator. The next task we'll look at is how to promote an existing user account from one user group and add them to an administrator's user group, giving them more permissions in the application. For this, we'll be using our contributors account that we've already created. Enter in the command line php symphony tools colon promote dash user dash to dash admin and then enter the username at the end as the prompt of who you want to promote. I'm entering contributor. Adam tells us in the command line that the user contributor is now an administrator. We can see that currently they're just in the contributor group but if I refresh this page now we can see that they have been added to the administrators group.
Finally, let's look at how we can change the password of any user from the command line, regardless of what group they belong to. To do so, enter in the command line php symphony tools colon reset dash password. Then you'll enter the username of the password whose account you want to reset and the new password you wish to use. I'm entering the contributor account again and giving them a new password. Once I do so, Adam tells me that the password has been updated. This concludes our tutorial for today. We hope you've enjoyed it. Remember, you can always find this information in the Atom documentation in the Administrator's Manual. Be sure to check out some of the other CLI tutorials that we have as well.